What is up guys, Tim DeSaint here. Hope you're all having a beautiful day and I hope everyone is doing well in these times and keeping healthy. Obviously, there's a lot going on in the world right now. Lots of chaos and negativity happening already. So I wanna keep this space here fun, positive and light hearted. So let's just take 10 short minutes, forget about all that and talk about something that we all love, fashion and style. And these beautiful clothes right here come from two of my favorite brands, Uniqlo and Koss. They both came through hard with their spring summer collection and I wanted to make this a top 10, but it was just too hard to narrow it down to only 10 pieces. So we will be going over my top 12 picks from both brands, seven pieces from Uniqlo, five from Koss. And yes, I know you've been asking me for it. I did include my favorites from the recent Uniqlo U collection and even the more recent JW Anderson collaboration. So let's get into it now. These are in no particular order, by the way. It is not a ranking, more so just a collection of my top 12 picks from the brands and all of the items mentioned will be linked in the description below as per usual. Starting off strong with the trucker jacket from the Uniqlo U collection, this piece is just a gem. I love how simple yet thoughtful the design is. It has that classic trucker jacket aesthetic, but it's got a bit more of a relaxed cut and the body is a little cropped, but the sleeves are slightly longer, finishing just above the knuckles for me. And yes, obviously I know that fit is subjective, it's not going to finish at the same exact spot for everyone, but you can tell that that's how the piece was designed to fit simply by looking at how the model wears it on the product page. And I'm a fan of the design, I love the color choices as well. I opted for the natural colorway, which by the way, the color on the website is not very accurate. It looks more like a beige slash cream on the website, whereas it's actually more of a light gray leaning off white kind of color. So just keep that in mind. Up next, we have the Uniqlo U wide fit suit. If you would have told me even five years ago that I would one day be wearing wide fitting suits, I would have laughed at your face in my slim fit notch lapel navy suit telling you that you wouldn't ever catch me dead wearing anything wider than a bicep hugging slim fit suit. But the times have changed, my tastes have changed, fashion has evolved and you know what? I am a huge fan of this wide fit suit. It's made from a cotton and linen blend making it very breathable and lightweight with a wide fit all over and an unstructured jacket. The shoulders still sit where they're supposed to, there's no drop shoulder or anything, but it is overall a lot roomier in the body and in the legs. I probably wouldn't wear something like this in an office with a strict dress code, for example if you work in finance or in law, but if the dress code is more lenient and more of a creative field perhaps, especially within the fashion industry, I think you can definitely pull this off. And to be honest, I could see myself wearing that more casually as well. Say if you're going to an event or a dinner in summertime where you wanna be a little more dressed up without going as formal as your more businessy, typical slim fitting suit in worsted wool. The Uniqlo U cotton shirt comes with a slightly more relaxed cut, as do most items in the U collection, which is also why it made the list. It's not your standard cotton dress shirt. The fact that it's cut more relaxed makes it ideal as a casual option worn untucked. It can give your outfit a more artsy fashion vibe than if you were wearing a tucked in slim fit button up shirt, which would instead make your whole look a little more businessy. And of course I had to get it in off-white, which is labeled as natural on their website because I'm pretty much obsessed with everything cream tones right now. For item number four, we have the Uniqlo U Block Tech Trench Coat. I don't think I've been this excited for a collection in a while, to be honest. I mean, all of these pieces are just amazing. This trench coat comes in an oversized cut with wide sleeves, a wide body, and a long length. You know, I'm all about that big coat energy and this one is definitely the epitome of big coats if there ever was one. Whenever I'm wearing something oversized up top, especially if it's a long coat, 
I will lean towards either chunky shoes with a good sole to them, or in this case, boots with a little bit of heel in order to elongate the legs and keep the outfit looking a little more balanced. This might just be my favorite piece out of the Uniqlo collection this spring summer, and I will definitely be incorporating a whole lot in my outfits. The last piece of the U collection that I've selected is the ribbed crew neck sweater. It's a nice simple piece, nothing crazy statement, but I really like the fit and the material, and you need those great basics upon which you can build the rest of your wardrobe. Two things that made it stand out for me was, one, the fact that the length of the body is pretty cropped and the sleeves are actually slightly longer, which makes the silhouette a bit more interesting. And two, the cuffs and hem have been left unribbed, which is another interesting detail that I liked. I opted for the beige colorway, which in terms of neutral colors looks particularly good with black or in a full tonal outfit. All right, so this coat from the JW Anderson collab is an interesting one because initially I didn't think it would be that different from the standard single breasted coat that Uniqlo makes. The only difference I noticed visually on the website was that the buttons were apparent on this one, which is not really a huge difference. They both look very similar from afar, but I decided to give it a go anyways. I ordered it in black, and to my surprise, not only is it just vastly different from the standard single-breasted coat, it is also really, really cool. So how are they different exactly? The biggest thing is the material. On the classic single-breasted coat, the material feels heavier, it's got more structure to it, and it's got padded lining inside to keep you warmer. On the new U single-breasted coat, the material feels a lot lighter and thinner. And I mean a lot. It almost feels like you're not wearing anything at all. You can definitely tell it was made for spring-summer, and it's an ideal outer layer for when the temperatures rise up again, and maybe you want to add that second layer, but you don't want to overheat. You can see the material just drapes effortlessly. It also has a more relaxed fit and longer sleeves, staying true to the vibe of the whole collection. I got it in black and will probably wearing it in more monochromatic outfits, but they also have it in beige and khaki green if that's more your jam. Finally, for the last Uniqlo piece, I have to give it to their signature EZY trousers. You already saw them in the first look along with the U trucker jacket, but they're so good I had to give them a proper mention. I already have them in a few different colors, but I went ahead and added a white one to the roster for spring summer. Because what better color than white for those hot sunny days that we will hopefully see. Plus, they updated these trousers with a new two-way stretch fabric that makes them even more comfortable than before. White is an easy color to mix and match with different colors, but one color that I do find works particularly well with white in my opinion is blue. A simple blue Oxford button down with a pair of loafers is something I can definitely see myself wearing this summer for a look that's a little less street, a little more Riviera. Alright guys, now let's move on to the cost pieces. These five pieces I'd say are a little more fashion forward than the Uniqlo ones, but still in that very minimal, understated, but sophisticated and modern aesthetic that I'm very much into. So let's hop into it. <laughs> So Koss came out with a unique collection where a lot of the pieces feature a large, bold, paint-like splatter across the body. Personally, I'm a fan of the concept it can turn a simple white shirt into a fashion statement and instantly make your outfit feel a little more bold and daring. I think it's supposed to have a regular fit, but it actually fits quite long on me, which I actually like though. I think it makes this statement even more statement. I would definitely wear boots with this, however, because of how long the shirt is when untucked, and I don't want it to drown out my legs too much. The Chelsea boots provide a little boost, making the whole look more proportionate. And I do want to point out something because I think this can bring value to you guys. The reason I would rather wear Chelsea boots with this rather than some chunky sneakers with a large sole is because even though the shirt is long, it's not actually large in terms of width. So I kind of want to follow that vertical line if that makes sense and more so streamline the look rather than contrast it with something bulky underneath. The Chelsea's have a much sleeker, slimmer profile that naturally flows better with this particular look. Okay, I promise these are the only two print pieces I got. 
Designed with function in mind, this lightweight cotton Mac has hidden buttons, a neat shirt-like collar, and the print wraps around the body all the way to the back. Once again, I love how the print allows you to make a statement with an otherwise very simple piece. Here I styled it in an all-over monochrome outfit using varying shades of blue to recall the navy of the Mac and the light blue of the print. These are actually called elasticated organic cotton trousers on the website, but I found that to not really describe the item very accurately at all. So let's rename them barrel leg trousers for the sake of this video because that's what they are. They have very wide oversized legs with a subtle barrel shape and an elasticated waistband. The dramatic wideness of these pants is exactly what made me attracted to them in the first place. Although when going for more relaxed fitting clothing, I would generally recommend going relaxed all over to create cohesiveness. In this case, the pants are actually so oversized that I would actually lean towards a slimmer top rather than an oversized one, as I feel like that would be a little too much. Nothing overly tight, just a regular fitting t-shirt or knitwear. That way, the focus is really placed on the white trousers with nothing distracting, making them the centerpiece of the outfit. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about wearing oversized slash wide fitting clothing, definitely check out the long form video I posted last week with Daniel Simmons, where we dive deeper into the subject. Designed with a loose fit, drawstring hood, and wide sleeves, this lightweight cotton jacket is an easy second layer option for the warm weather days. The subtle off-white color makes me gravitate towards styling it in tonal outfits using different shades of off-white. Obviously, the jacket is very casual, so best reserved for non-business outings and worn with other casual pieces. Last but not least, I loved the simple but thoughtful design of this cotton flannel sweater in khaki green. It has a regular fit, a high neck with zipper, and a subtle patch pocket on the chest area. I feel like the simplicity of the design makes it very versatile and gives you the ability to wear it with more casual outfits, certainly, but I feel like you could even dress it up a little bit with smarter shoes or a pair of smart trousers for an interesting high-low combo. All right, and there you have it, my top 12 picks from the Uniqlo and Cost Spring Summer collections. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button to support the channel, share this with a friend, and subscribe if you're new here. I wish you an excellent day, stay home, stay healthy. I'm gonna be working on some more content to keep you guys entertained during these times where, understandably so, might get a little boring. So make sure you're following me on Instagram, and oh, by the way, speaking about entertainment, I'm on TikTok now. So I'm going to be experimenting with that platform, new ways of creating content. So go follow me on there, TikTok. See you guys soon. Peace.